it's not a fairy tale. I've got the tickets to prove it. And my team is going to win it. There's the Hooter, it is over. The Cowboys will play the West Tigers. Tell you what, the Tigers win, I'm having next week off work. You know what? You can take the week off school. Come on, Dad, it's holidays anyway. Williams. No, Matty Bond definitely. Without question. I don't care who scores, as long as we score. Oh, score they came up too quick, Daniel Wagon. West Tigers, Premiers, 2005. Sounds cool to me. If I could say anything to the fellas when they run out, I would say at the end of the day, just have no regrets. We're going to win it. I know it. I was waiting for you to stop talking. No, I'll go all night. I'll go all night if you want. On your couch waiting for the football when Sunday after midday means it's time for boots and all, boots and all, boots and all. It's Sunday after midday and you're waiting for the football. You know what damn time it is, it is time for boots and all, boots and all, boots and all. It's Sunday after midday. Well, what about this? Welcome. <laughs> yes, thank you. Welcome to our Boots and All Grand Final Eve special. We're going to put you right in the mood for the Grand Final tomorrow. Now, on the show today, we've got some great Grand Final moments. We've got Grand Final Day cooking tips. We'll have the Rugby League 2 Grand Final Challenge. And Gus, what about the audience all in their footy jumpers showing their support? How good is it? You can't believe it, can you? A live audience for Brutes and all. We've never had one yes, before. Wonderful. And you can bet your life, you can bet your life these two teams into their first grand final. Everyone's excited. Who fancies the Tigers tomorrow? Yeah. Who fancies the Cowboys tomorrow? Yeah. Well, there's not much in it, Ross. Yeah, there's not much in it. I can say all these people are going to have footy food this afternoon, courtesy of our chef over here, Louis Lopez, <laughs> who's over there with the hot <laughs> You all right, Louis? Ah, ah OK. <laughs> we'll also be going to the, Cow uh, the uh, Cowboys Leagues Club up in Townsville later in the show. But, Gus, you want to start us off with telling us what grand finals are all about. Oh, yes, mate. Look, I said on Thursday night, the greatest thing you can do in your football career is win a grand final. Have a look at these pictures. I think you'll find a few people that agree with me. Three seconds. Fiddler. It goes over to Wing. Wing away to Finn. Then it's gone out to Crocker. Oh, Crocker loses the ball. Cool. It's picked up by you, Clyde. It is unbelievable. You get flashbacks right now. A kid from Dubbo. A kid from Dubbo who couldn't make the first 13 and here he is a grand final winner. I just... It's the whole day, the whole week has been unbelievable. I just... Oh, it's the best thing ever. The best. The best thing that ever happened to anyone. I can't believe it. When we left Newcastle, I think most of the boys were in tears. People lined up for 30Ks out of Newcastle. We were down for all money there for a while. The cattle of these bikes. It's the best thing that ever happened to a man, I'm that proud of him. Mate, that is the greatest thing you can ever do. Oh, I love everyone for making me feel this good. Oh, mate, the happiest day of your life. I can't believe you've done it. The best player for Square, the best player for Queen, says, this is what it's all about winning the grand final. Now, 
good is that? We finished with the Bulldogs from last year. Now, half our studio audience is here in Sydney in Channel 9. The other half is at the Cowboys Leagues Club in Townsville, where we can cross live right now to our own Tim Sheridan. Cheryl, all yours, mate. I tell you guys, you've got us absolutely pumped up here. As you can see, the place is all decorated. The fans are here, they're hydrating and getting pumped up for tomorrow. It's like the night before Christmas, guys. Absolutely fantastic. We've got about seven of the players' partners down here and girlfriends, and we're going to talk to a couple of them later on. But we're going to enjoy Boots and All up here. They really feel as though they're part of the show and they're really enjoying it. So we'll get back to you a bit later on. But until we go, we'll just leave you with a bit of a message from the Cowboys fans. Oh dear. I, think, I think they're already in the mood for the grand final. They'll play it tonight if they can. Now let's go to some great grand final moments. You want to take us back to 91. I do, mate. Look, for the West Tigers and the Cowboys, they've never won a competition tomorrow, so for the, tomorrow's success will be the first ever for the mm. club. Back in 1991, it was the Panthers, and a very special day for a bloke called Royce Simmons. Five metres out. Guy out to Dunn. The switch. Simmons. Simmons up the middle. Royce Simmons. Simmons gets it. Great footwork. He will remember this for a long, long time. Short drop out by Cameron and Evan. Oh, oh, go oh. Guy gets yes. it. Royce Simmons. Simmons. Oh. Yes. That's it. Yeah. A very, very special time. And you were coach of that team. Well, these days, Roy Simmons is the assistant coach of the West Tigers. And how good's this? On the eve of the grand final, he's been good enough to give us some of his time. And Roy Simmons is going to cross to his uh, bar at his house. And Tim Gilbert is standing by with him. Timmy, all yours, mate. How is the big fella? Well, thanks, guys. We've gone straight to the pool room at Royce's place. Just saw those tries again from 91. Do you ever get sick of looking at them? No, no, never do, mate. The hairs on the back of your neck still stand up. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll watch them all day, every day. What about Pat Richards? Good news for the West Tigers. He will be playing. Is he 100% fit? Well, yeah, he went through a very strong fitness test this morning. He came through it in flying colours. I, I've got to be honest, I was very doubtful when he went into it. But uh, he's come out the other side of it, and he's gone back into hyperbaric chamber and uh, a bit more treatment this afternoon. And uh, looks like he'll be sweet. You'll be sleeping your own bed tonight, as will the players. No camp. Why did Tim Sheens decide to go that way? We well, actually put it back on the players. Ask the players, and they've said, "Well, look, you know, over the last few weeks, we've slept at home. We've, you know, got in our cars, went there ourselves, and we're really happy. We're more relaxed at home, sleeping in our own beds. And uh, it was really their choice, and they wanted to do it, and uh, so we supported it. Being like rock stars this week, Royce. What about the crowds? What have you thought of the crowds at training? Yeah, it was unbelievable uh, on Tuesday. You know, there was. I don't know how many people was there, and it was backed up in the grand final lunch on uh, on Thursday, and it was chockers there too. And uh, so it's been amazing the support we've got, and we drove up the the main street of uh, Leichhardt today to go and have lunch, and you know every people were out there yelling and screaming. So yeah, it's a it's a uh, good atmosphere, no doubt about that. How do you keep the lid on it for the young guys? Well, I think it all comes back to individual preparation. We keep talking to them non-stop about you know. Go home, read your notes, then get away from it. Watch a movie, do what you want to. Uh, a bit later on that day, read your notes again, but then forget about it, you know. And uh, and when you're training, nice enthusiastic, but when you go away, let's relax again. So more of an individual thing about uh, make sure your preparation's right, but in between, you, when you're doing your preparation, plenty of relaxation. What's your snapshot? How do they beat them? Oh, I think if, uh, we go a long way to it by giving them ball in control situations. You don't want to be doing a chip kick off the top of your head to the, the to to these blokes because they they just love playing in in uh, broken play. You know they've scored more tries than anyone. You don't want to be turned over the ball to them in possession. If you do, you got to form your line very quickly and get organised. So I think it's the way we give them the ball that'll uh, that'll go a long way towards winning the game for us. Well, thanks so much for doing it, Royce. Your old coach from '91's back in the studio. You got a message for it? Yeah, Gus. Uh, 1980, we played. Uh, Reserve grade semi-finals. Mickey Artis was the coach at the time, and it's amazing how two blokes have held the Webbers together so good and look so <laughs> charming and attractive that uh, the middle ages of 46 and 47, uh. whatever we are. <laughs> George, there Clooney, you go, boys. Brad Pickett, on you, Tim. Thanks, Royce. There you go. How was that?
1991. Now, Grand Final Day 2005 on Channel 9. It will start at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning, but come 2 o'clock for the Jersey, Gra or Jersey Flag Grand Final, we'll have a very special guest, sideline commentator. Do you know who this is? Hello, people. I'm Red Craig, and I love Grand Final Day. Yeah! Tomorrow, there's a new league commentator on 9. This kid is the next Dan Jones. And the video referee says, no try, ah, oh, get off the wacky weed. Rugby league like you've never heard or seen it before. Red oh, Reagan's yeah. commentary to boo. Oh, hey, Jersey hey, flag hey, grand hey, final, hey. 2 o'clock tomorrow oh. on Channel 9. Oh. <laughs> Who is your favourite West Tiger? Um, Benji Marshall. What do you like about Benji? He's hot. <laughs> no, he's a good player and he's really fast and he helps the team win. Who is your favourite West Tigers player? Uh, Benji Marshall. Benji Marshall. What do you like about Benji? Um, he's fast. Uh, it's got to be Benji, doesn't it? The great entertainer? Oh, he's fantastic. Uh, Benji Marshall. What do you like best about Benji? Zip. <laughs> Who's your favourite West Tigers player? Benji Marshall. And what about you? Benji Marshall. It's all Benji Marshall. And Brett Hudson. Oh, sorry, there's another one. Brett Hudson. Brett Hudson. Brett Hudson. Any others while we're here? Uh, Prince. Scott Prince. Um, Pat Richards, Peyton, Scandalis, um, Paul Fanyra, Ben Galea, Farrah, and everyone else. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think we've got them all. Well done. Yeah. Some excited young Tigers fans. That was last Saturday night. Now, they mentioned lots of names there. Welcome back to our Boots and All Grand Final Leaf show. But they didn't mention the great Mark O'Neill. But I did catch it up, catch up with what I think may be the number one fan of the great man Mark O'Neill. Excuse me, who's your favourite West Tigers player? Um, Mark O'Neill. Mark O'Neill. Mark O'Neill, what do you like about Mark? Is he a nice man? Yeah. I thought you'd say that. Say, so go the Tigers. Go the Tigers. There you have it. A Mark O'Neill fan, Gus. Very, very cute. Yeah, mate, I think I can top you, though. I think I've got Mark O'Neill's biggest fan in the studio right with us, and I'm talking about his wife, Belinda O'Neill. Yeah. How you doing, mate? Are you nervous? Are you nervous? I am nervous. Yeah. I'm nervous. Excited, but... Is he getting nervous, Mark, before big games? Um, he's actually, he's just excited, jumping around like a little kid, so... Have good. you noticed a difference this week, being grand final week, compared to other weeks? Not really, he's just been very busy, though. No, that's probably the biggest Now, Belinda, we heard from uh, Roy Simmons there saying, the Tigers players aren't going into camp tonight, but no. a little birdie tells me that the wives and the partners are going out. In fact, there's a hen's night. Is it Ben Galea's fiance? It is, is that right? Julia, yeah. So you girls are going out, so at about 4am tomorrow morning, when Mark's trying to get to sleep before the most important match of his life, you'll be banging on the door, let me in! Is that how it goes? Or? Well, I promised I'd be very quiet when I came here. Do in, you? So okay. I'll do my best. Now, tomorrow morning, we're looking at some of uh, Mark O'Neill during the final series, getting a try two weeks ago. Will he speak to you? Is he, will he be dead quiet tomorrow morning? Will he look for advice and reassurance? No, I think, as I said before, he's like a little kid. He, yeah. he jumps around, you know, tackles me on the lounge and gets very excited. Yeah, right, he loves okay. it. So. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Was that what happened with the Panthers in 91, Gus, that, that you wanted the wives to tackle not, the players? Not a lot, the lot of wife tackling, no. Not a lot of wife tackling was brought into it. No, we used tackle bags, you know. So I have to think about it. The wife's a good idea, I've got to be honest. Now, I know, Belinda, it, it is a lot about families with Mark, and he paid tribute to his brother. His brother's been, like, his, his inspiration, his, his number one supporter next to yourself. He has been. Um, I think, you know, Paul would have loved to have played um, mm. at the level Mark has, so when he, when he gets his boot on, boots on, he always thinks of his brother. So this is like one great ride for not just, not, not just Mark, but you, the entire family? Oh, definitely. All the O'Neills are out there. 
tomorrow, so I'm um, very can we get a, Can we get a contract for Mark for next year? Can we do a bit of business right here, right now? Hopefully. Well, he's very keen. He's, do you want um, us to super up a number for sale, Mark? That's right. Think? That's right. Contacts, please. Now, you're, you're telling me you've been married to Mark for two years. Yeah. But you went out with him for 11 years? Yeah, coming on 11 years. I yeah. hope he's a little bit quicker than that tomorrow. I mean, he's very, <laughs> very slow there. Mark. Very nice. I, I hope so, too. Yeah. We're probing into your private life. Belinda, thank you for coming in today. Uh, you've got the big night. It's the hen's, the hen's night tonight. Yes. Uh, we just hope that tomorrow it may be the fairy tale ending for Mark O'Neill. I hope so. As it was who we saw with Roy Simmons. So all the best for tomorrow. Thank you very much. Belinda O'Neill. Now, there could be a fairy tale ending for a few of the Cowboys players. Indeed, Paul Rahihi plays his final match tomorrow. We can go back up to the Cowboys leagues right now. And Tim Sheridan. Chero. Thanks, Bossy. Well, uh, we've in fact got uh, half a dozen of the players' wives here. Let me introduce them. Uh, this is Maiva, that's uh, Paul Rahihi's partner. And from here we've got Lindsay, Yakiri, Christy, Nikki and Laura over there, all partners of the Cowboys. And all here, of course, the night before. They're resting up, of course, most of them are on that early plane out of Townsville tomorrow morning. They've got to be out at the airport at about a quarter past six to catch that jumbo down to Sydney. Now, Maiva, of course, has been with Paul Rahihi for 14 years. Now, he looks big and tough, Myver, and uh, he told us the other day that he doesn't do smiles. Now, that can't be right, can it? No, he doesn't do smiles very often, but uh, he's not that big and tough, really. Yeah, he's <laughs> really a big softy. Is that right? Uh, softy and a bit of a smart ass at times, but yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. He's uh, a bit of a leader, isn't he? Uh, we're watching him on the screen there now. Uh, he takes those young blokes forwards. Uh, does he talk much about that at home? Oh, uh, not really. He, he likes to keep what's on the field on the field kind of thing, so yeah. yeah. And uh, you've got three kids, uh, two of whom play rugby league, don't they? You've yep. got uh, Damon there, is it? And, uh, and Jana. Jana next to you here? Jana here, yep. They both play footy. Uh, it was Jana's first year this year. She got two tries, so she's pretty happy with herself. Yep. Oh, three. Sorry. Three, three tries, just correcting that. And uh, they obviously understand what Dad's up to uh, tomorrow night. Yeah, it's pretty good that they're, like all three of them are at an age that they can understand how big occasion this is. And, they're all looking forward to it and really excited. And uh, you're all on the jumbo tomorrow morning, uh, yep. getting up at Sparrows to get out to the airport? Yep, we sure are. <laughs> yeah. Looking forward to that. Just uh, before we go back, just give us a sense of the excitement in the town here. What's it been like? Oh, it's crazy. It's totally unbelievable. There's just cowboys' colours everywhere. Everyone's getting really into it. I've just been amazed, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, guys, this is little uh, Bodie Norton, uh, Travis, <laughs> Travis's little boy. Excellent. Uh, he's got a grip, I can tell you, like something else. He's got hold of my hand there and he's not, he's not letting it go. Um, so everyone's here, guys. Fantastic fun here tonight, getting ready for the big day tomorrow. And, of course, we'll come back a bit later on and uh, talk to Lindsay Green, who's with Josh Henne. All right, good on you, Shiro. And a great effort by the Cowboys, too, that they are got a uh, jumbo jet to bring the families down to the grand final tomorrow. Now, it's a big day tomorrow. It's the most special day of the year in rugby league. It's also a special day on Boots and All because we've got the grand final of a very special event. Tomorrow, it's a 10-pin bowling showdown at midday. Manly. Got Donald the Trump versus the year of Nathan, the money box man, Heinrich. It's the Boots and All Bowl Up Final, exclusive to Channel 9, your home of 10 pen bowling. The blowage on the fingers. <laughs> ah. Hello, everyone, welcome to. Oh, that's just ridiculous. Yahoo! Great good stuff, Kenny. Good stuff, mate. Together, of. Nathan, you. Nathan, you got the boots. <laughs> I love this in the foyer, beautiful painting. <laughs> Back to the front. <laughs> you hear what the parents are going to say? And where are we off to next week, Dustin? Who's Nathan Dustin? Well, he's not at his best, so leave this uh, sock this sock puppet in charge. He did. There's nothing wrong with that.
I don't know. What are you? I know you got the soft one. Nice to be with you again for Boots and All on a, on a Sunday. And uh, this is how it goes sometimes. <laughs> I can even smell it. Who's going to pinch fur? <laughs> Nathan, you've got the Boots and All record. You know what happens. Welcome back to our Boots and All Grand Final League program. We're here for Harvey Norman and Rebel Sport. And right now, Louis Lopez is with me, our little hot dog man, because we're going to get underway with our Rugby League 2 Grand Final Challenge. Could you help our players out with yeah, some yeah. hot dogs there, Louis? We've got yeah, Beaver from the Cowboys. Nick. We've got Nick from the Tigers. Yeah, and they're going to play the Rugby League 2 Grand Final Challenge. Yeah, I bet it. <laughs> 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 okay, on your bike, Louis. Off you go. Thank you, champion. Beaver, how are the Cowboys going to go tomorrow, mate? Oh, I think they'll do themselves proud, mate. They'll go all right. They'll go all right. And Nick, you right it's to go smashing. on the challenge? Tigers? It's smashing. You'll do the same right here? Yep. All right, <laughs> now... You. You've both played the game before. You've probably played model number one, but the Rugby League 2 is going to be out before Christmas. So this is the brand new and improved version of the game. We're going to play for the next 20 minutes or so. The grand final, see if this is an indicator towards tomorrow. So let's get it on, Beaver. Yeah. Let's get it on, Nick. Down the Cowboys, down the Tigers. All right, Jeff. Let's get into some more action on the show. All right, we can follow the Cowboys and the Tigers over there shortly. But when they run out for the big grand final tomorrow, who leads them out onto the field? Now, if you say the captains, you're wrong, because the people who lead them out are, in fact, the mascots, a very important part of any club. And today, by popular request from the North Queensland Cowboys, we have their mascots, Bluey and Miss Moo. <laughs> oh, this is outrageous. Well... <laughs> Now, the reason... I've got a heckler. We've got a heckler what, in the crowd. What's going on here? Who's the way you boo the mascots? What's going on up here? Yeah. What's up in the L? Mate, you got beaten 29-0. Get over it. Yeah, 29-0. 29-0. Now, no the, reason, heckling. the reason that Gus is wearing the uh, Howdy hat uh, right there, and it certainly does suit him, is because the mascots don't actually speak. So Gus is going to interpret for us what the mascots say. You sweet with that, Gus? I'm sweet, yep. All right, well, let me start with uh, Bluey, the mascot, who leads the team out. Uh, Bluey, are you nervous about tomorrow's game? He said not really, no. He said they've been training since October, week in, week out. They've kept their focus. They've just taken it one week at a time. And uh, now the players are really appreciative of the opportunity to play in the grand final, and, uh, and they really respect their opposition. <laughs> he said all that? He did, yeah. OK. And uh, what about you, Miss Moon? Preparation's gone good this week? Yeah. She said she's not worried about the other team. And, uh, <laughs> and everyone's really focused on their own job. All right. Well, let's look at some of uh, Bluey in action for the Cowboys up at Dairy Farmers Stadium. Now, Bluey always runs straight at the camera. Except one night had a little collision, I think, with the camera. Oop, there you go. Carrying Reggie the rabbit off. <laughs> Lovely stuff. I don't know whether you're going to be able to carry the tiger off tomorrow. But that's all good form. You get into the game, you provide some uh, great entertainment. Bluey, you do a really good job, I've got to say. Gus, any response from Bluey to that? He thinks he does a good job too. No. Yes. <laughs> okay. And uh, we, I must say, having watched games come out of Townsville before, there's a lot of mascots. You're up against some stiff opposition up at Dairy Farmers Stadium. On any given night, you'll find a bloke dressed up as a Coke bottle. Uh, Colonel Sanders. You probably don't know Colonel Sanders died of chicken pox. <laughs> Uh, this bloke, I don't know who he is, but he, there he is up against the goal. That was just a supporter who came out onto the crown. Uh, a there? slice of bread is a there, bread, which is yeah. a wonderful mascot. It's you know? mascot city up there. The kids absolutely yeah. love it. Here's some of Miss Moo in action. Miss, Miss Moo, this is some of your best, best work. Miss Moo, what are you doing Marvellous there? Marvellous stuff. <laughs> 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 oh boy, a, a pummeling. And then poor old Colonel Sanders up to the fence he comes, and it can be an aggressive crowd. You've got you to watch your audience almost pull his arm off, for crying out loud. So what we're leading to, can I just say this, Bluey and Miss Moo, I hope there are no mishaps tomorrow. Now, can I ask you how you're going to spend tonight on the eve of the big game? It's going to get to Wentworth Park Greyhound, say hello to a few old mates. And <laughs> do some news that way. Yeah, Blaze. <laughs> OK, then. Now, you would know that there have been problems in the past with grand final day pre-match entertainment. I could play you Billy Idol right now. I could play you 42nd Street from 1989. I want to take you back 10 years, though. Do you remember this one on the grand final day 1995? Huge crowd at Aussie Stadium. They're launching Optus Vision, the giant television screen guff. Is this not one of the great league moments? It was one of the great league moments, and I think one of my best ever grand final uh, rehearsals. And we, don't, we still, to this day, don't know what was supposed to happen we just know that this wasn't supposed to happen. 
And... Yes! Marvellous stuff! Nothing. Wrong. Well, let's hope that tomorrow everything goes well. You're going to see the pre-match entertainment on Channel 9. Pete Murray is the headline act. Put your hands together for Bluey the mascot. This move for coming in. We need to get him a hot dog. We go to a break on our grand final show. There you are. Up you go, Bluey. Get yourself a hot dog. favourite Cowboys player, champion? Uh, but Matty Bowen, mate. Matty Bowen. What do you like best about Matt Bowen? Uh, just his ability to cut up the play, to turn a game, to win the game, things like that. Yeah, he's top player. Who do you think is the star attraction in the Cowboys side? Uh, oh, you hard press going past the you know, pullbacks. Matty Bowen, I suppose, you know. Bowen. What do you like about Matt Bowen? Uh, anything, everything. Matty Bowen. What do you like about Matty? Well, he's really fast. He's the best tackle in the world, I think. Yeah. The best in the world? Yes, the best in the world. Away from Fronzo. Too much pace for Rooney. Gower is there in cover. It's Bowen against Gower. Gower and Bowen. Bowen with the ball. And Bowen will score. Here comes Reece Wesser. Bowen scores. What a try to Matty Bowen. 22-6 to with a kick to come. That's why they come to Derry Farmers soon. How good was that try? Welcome back to our Boots and All Grand Final League special. Right now we are playing the Rugby League 2 Grand Final Challenge. We've got Beaver for the Cowboys. We've got Nick for the Tigers. And we're going to update the score. It's nil all. Uh, Aaron Payne got held up over the line for the Cowboys early. So no score as yet. The boys are playing the challenge. You can see some of the action from the play. Scotty Prince there just held up. Very exciting stuff. We'll revisit this later in the show. But right now, we know a lot of you are having grand final parties tomorrow. What do you cook grand final day? Let's go over to Gus. Thank you, Bossy. Very, very important part of grand final day. Channel 9, we go from 11 o'clock in the morning right through to 11 o'clock at night. So you've got to have your energy. And to talk to us about what to eat on grand final day, a grand final expert and one of the Balmain Tigers' greatest ever players. Welcome, Paul Serenin. Yeah. Tigers tomorrow. Huge day, huge day. Looking forward to it. It's been a terrific build up, mate, and uh, tomorrow a good climax in that, that elusive premiership. You played in grand finals yourself. In fact, you scored one of the best grand final tries I've ever seen. Talk us through it. I didn't score too many, Gus, but uh, I think I was just hanging around somewhere in the background there and um, could see something evolving upfield. And uh, support play wasn't my, my go, really. But, well, uh, you steam onto enough, this one, mate. Yeah. Just watch Big Ciro steam onto this one and charge it in under the post. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Good stuff. What a great try that was. An outstanding try. And Laurie Nichols celebrating as well on the stand. You have Tony Chalmers on the bench with a team. It's just outstanding stuff. How are you going to stop Paul Siren and Brad Clyde trying to track you down? Anyway, you are here. We found out yesterday that you're a very good chef, so we thought, well, let's get Zero on the program. Very at home in the kitchen. Boss. Okay, then. Now, it is a long day, as Gus mentioned. The coverage starts at 11 o'clock. What should the people at home be starting their grand final day parties with at 11 o'clock in the morning for the Arrive Live Cup final? You've got to pace yourself. You've got to pace yourself. Grand final day, very yeah. important. So, give yourself a little treat early on, Bossy. Okay. Now, I, I just happen to have a box of these here. So, <laughs> there we go. Surprise, <laughs> so And the... And your tiger colours. colours. There you go. Louis. Louis, can you distribute those both of the crowd in a moment? Okay then. So that's the start. Now we're talking exactly. Jersey flag about 2 o'clock in the afternoon on Channel 9. Do we get into a big meal there or are we talking light? Well, we're, we're talking basic food stuff there. So look, I've, I've got something here, mate. So look, as you can see, I've got some bread, some uh, some ham, some butter. So look, I, I know we're under, we're, we're under a little bit of... Yes, so look, let's, let's put that aside. You prepared one earlier? Look at this. Look at that magnificent. It's a taste of sandwich. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> a hand toasted sandwich. Yeah, that's good. Okay, Jersey Fletcher. Well, I like it. I like that. Keep that going, Bossy. All right. All good. After the Premier League going into pre match entertainment leading up to the grand final, is that the main course? Well, yes, yes. Now, I, I do have some stuff here. Excuse okay, me, right, I'll, I'll just... The main course, getting ready for the big game. Here, here we, we go. go. You've got so the friends Oh, it's oh, going to be chicken, is it? We've got Very some nice. uh, beautiful chicken breast fillet. Mmm, looks nice. Some uh, potatoes. Yeah. And, <laughs> look at, and this green stuff. Green, green, green stuff. gut that normally gets stuck in your teeth. Okay, so, what do we do with that? Well, well I know we're, we're, again, we're pressed for time, mate. So I did prepare early. You prepared something early. Okay, and, uh, the chicken breast and potatoes. Miracle chicken. 
Here we go. Here's the result. I'll just get that out. Here we go. Look at that. How'd you, get, how'd you get two chicken fillers to join together again as a, a whole chicken? Gus, that's why it's called Ciro's Miracle Chicken. Miracle OK, chicken. there you go. OK, well, there's the second course. Now, after the match for the victory feast, what should we be doing? Well, now now you can really splurge out the piece de la resistance. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. Fungus. Snags, of course, the thin snags. All right, Beautiful, what do we do with them and, a, and in some sauce? sauce well, what do we do with that, mate? Again, I know we're... Time restraints. Okay. Time, we're pressed for time, so okay. I've just got this Ciro's sausage sensation. Hey, Look at this. <laughs> Try again. Celebrate the victory. Okay then. You start the day. You start the day with the uh, with the toasted sambo. You follow it up with. Oh no, you start the day with the crispy creams. You follow it up with a toasted sandwich. Chicken surprise. Ciro's miracle, miracle chicken. Miracle. And you brush home with sausage. the sausage That's right. sensation. You can, you Ciro, repeat those in the morning too. enjoy grand final day, champ. I shall do, mate. Well done, Thank mate. Thanks for coming on. There's the grand final team, champ. Back to the market with more on our grand final league special. Yeah. Yes, it yeah. is sad, but I've got to tell the truth. There was a few Tigers and Cowboys fans in here laughing <laughs> yes, at the drag. Don't you feel sorry for them up there at all? No! Oh, that there is cruel. Well, we're back on our Boots and All Grand Final League show for Rebel Sport at Harvey Norman, and we're playing the Rugby League 2 Grand Final Challenge. The Beaver for the Cowboys, Nick for the Tigers. Josh Henney has just missed a shot at goal, which would have been our first point. But look at that scoreline. It's still nil all. <laughs> Two of the best attacking sides in the comp cannot post a point. Well, apparently it's going right off at the Cowboy Leagues Club right now, as a matter of fact, and we can cross back there with Tim Sheridan. Oh, you're Shero. Hello, guys. Well, back here at the Broncos Leagues Club, uh, we're just getting ready for grand final day, and uh, in, in my arms here is the youngest Cowboys fan here. This is little Matthias, and he's two months old, and if you look carefully, you can see that he's got his little Cowboys t-shirt on, and uh, he's having a big afternoon here at the Cowboys Leagues Club, and next to me here is Lindsay Green. Now, she's the girlfriend of Josh Henne. Now, Lindsay, you haven't had a lot of experience uh, with rugby league, as we'll tell from your accent straight away. How long have you been in Australia? One year. One year. Now, you came from Ireland, and where did you meet Josh? <laughs> Oh, I would love to say it was somewhere really good, but it was actually out clubbing. You were out clubbing. Well, that's what people like to do. Now, is it a bit of a shock for you to, say, watch Josh's charge, as we can see him there now on screen? What, what's it like to be, you know, so close to such a big event as this? Oh, it's just really exciting. Yeah, it's great. He's just a normal person to me. He's just Josh, but whenever um, I see him and everybody reacts to who he is as a big football star, yeah, it gets a great buzz from that. How's he been in the lead-up to the grand final? Yeah, he's been really good. Um, really calm. It's probably best that they're not in Townsville and that they're actually down in Sydney, away from all the hype. But they're having a great time, and he's just enjoying every second yeah. of it. I mean, in Ireland, they call this crack, don't they? A good time, you know? Has, uh, has it yeah. been fairly good? Yeah, it's yeah. good. Yeah. The crack's good. Yeah, the crack is very good. Yeah. Yeah. And um, you're going down tomorrow morning on the plane. You're looking forward to that? Yeah, can't wait. It's great yeah. for all the girls that are down. Yeah. Okay, and uh, I mean, we've got a few of the uh, the Cowboys partners here yeah. with us here today. Uh, you can see them sitting over there. I mean, you spend a lot of time together, and uh, is there a good camaraderie amongst the girls? Yeah, they're a brilliant bunch of girls. Um, we try and do as much stuff together as possible. We go to dinners and socialise together. They're great girls. Yeah, so they've made you very welcome since you came to this country. Yeah, really good. They're great to have here. Yeah. Uh, Josh, nervous, do you think? Oh, God, I'm sure he is. I can't even imagine how he's feeling, but... 
he's very professional about it and um, he just does his job at the end of the day. Yeah, well, uh, I'll tell you one little guy who's not nervous, little Matthias, who's uh, not feeling a thing on grand final leave. It's been uh, fantastic up here, guys. Uh, really fun watching Boots and All from the Cowboys Lees Club. The fans are ready for tomorrow. They're hydrating themselves, getting ready for a huge day. We'll come back to you now, and as we do, let's have a big cheer from uh, the Cowboys fans, but don't wake Matthias. Yeah? And yeah, we've got a very special guest coming up after the break, so don't go away. And as we go to the break, one of the greatest fans of rugby league of all time, the late, great Laurie Nichols. show on boots and all and now all important the weather gus how important is it weather's very important for the players bossy they've got to work out how to play but they'll be ready for rain hail or shine but for the fans do you take an umbrella a raincoat a woolly jacket or do you go in your t-shirt shorts and thongs well to find out we've got a very special weatherman here today do you recognize this fella come in reg reagan yeah! thanks gus i wear timbali this guy rocks okay well Jenny, she's hot Grand final of tomorrow, people, and let me tell you, if you're like me, you've been getting pumped all week. Pretty excited as well. <laughs> Let's get into the weather. Scott Kim, have a look at this, people. Yeah! Look at this, we've got things going. What's got to the weather? I don't know, but look at those fairies. They're like Matty Bow and they're a zigging and a zagging, and they're just loving life. Let's have a look at the scores. City over Parramatta. Liverpool over Penrith. Geez, a local derby. No love lost there. Okay, the psychotic chart. We got smoke going across the street, Shagger land. And now, we're going to have a big H going to go across that might land on Telstra Stadium tomorrow. Be careful. Let's have a look. Who cares about the national weather? People, I'll give you the weather that counts. Cessnock tomorrow. Beautiful, humid, 26 degrees. Mudgy, Kenny Sutcliffe territory. G'day to all Kenny's girlfriends out there, all two of you. 26 degrees and beautiful, unlike Kenny's girlfriends. But the one that counts, people, Telstra Stadium tomorrow. 23 degrees, but we'll get warmer as the day goes on. So make sure you peel off the layers, people. You want a tip for tomorrow? I'll give you one. Go the Tigers! Yeah! What's the lesson? Reg Reagan doing the weather. Yeah, it's going to be a warm one. Thank you, Reggie, for that. Now, our Rugby League 2 Grand Final Challenge. Tigers fans, I've got some bad news for you. The Cowboys have beaten the Tigers 16-0. 16-0, look at that, three tries to nil. So Beaver has done the job. Beaver, you win for yourself the PlayStation 2. This is the silver model. And let me Jeez. tell you, you also get a Cowboys game control. And for you, Nick, you did your best, but you got no points, but you still get oh. a hand controller, mate. You've got no game to play it on, but you get the hand controller. <laughs> And the Rugby League 2 will be out before Christmas. Every league fan, you've got to have this. You can play your own grand finals at home. So, there we go. Gus, what have you got for us? I'm going to go around the crowd and find out who's going to win tomorrow's game. I've never seen so many sad faces from the Tigers. It, was, uh, it wasn't real. It was all a joke. Just settle down. All right. Who's going to win tomorrow, mate? A Dragon fan? Who? What do you think? Tigers or Cowboys? Tigers. Tigers. A little girl up here. What do you think? Tigers or Cowboys? Tigers. Tigers. There's a little one. Tigers or Cowboys? Tigers! Let's ask a sharky up the back here. What do you think? 
Tigers. Oh, I can't find any. Rooster, what do you think? Tigers. Tigers. Parramatta, those sorry fans in the crowd. What do you think? The West Tigers. The West Tigers. Yeah. Can we find anyone who wants the Cowboys? Ah, nice stuff. Nice stuff. Now, we did actually survey all of our audience uh, before, see if this is an indicator for tomorrow. The result was 60% of the audience said the Tigers would win, 40% the Cowboys. Which player will be the first try scorer? Matty Bowen to score the first try. You'll be interested to know that in the uh, Rugby League 2 Grand Final Challenge, it was Shane Tronk who scored the first Shane try. Shane Tronk! The big prop! He rushed over for the first try, and who will be man of the match? Who will get the Clive Churchill medal? Uh, the audience nominated Scott Prince as the most popular. Now also we had the Carl McFarland and Norm Casamento in the audience tried to vote twice. Your votes aren't counted. That's just not on. That's just not fair sport. Gus, final word on the grand final tomorrow. What are you thinking? I think it's going to be absolutely sensational. I don't think I've known a, a, a grand final fever like this with two clubs that uh, are fairy tales. Uh, they've got to their first grand final for their new club and I think it's going to be absolutely exciting. Everyone in the country has embraced either the Tigers or the Cowboys. I can't pick it. Too close to call. The game a few weeks ago will mean nothing when they run out tomorrow. This yep. will be an absolute grand final classic. Absolute 50 point results have meant absolutely nothing right through the year. Now just a reminder about Channel 9's coverage tomorrow. We kick off at 11 o'clock. It is the Arrival Live uh, final between Endeavour Sports High and Kiebra Park. Then our Boots and All Grand Final Day special, which is different to this one. 1 o'clock the footy show. Fatty and the boys there. Big preview of the big one. 2 o'clock, Jersey Fleck. Reg Reagan in commentary oh, on the sideline. Please. Premier League Grand Final will have Lana Birchall as a sideline commentator. You've seen her on the Sunday footy show doing a great job. Then all the pre-match show, pre-match entertainment. The big one starts at 7. Best of the footy show at the end of that. Thanks for joining us today on Boots and All. Best team to win tomorrow night. Thanks to Harvey Norman and Rebel Sport. That's Boots and All. Until next time, enjoy your footy.